So I've just finished hosting a discussion with the Bangladeshi Minister for Textiles and Jute, uh, a government uh, member of parliament, uh, and senior leaders from the textile and apparel sector. I'm taking the opportunity to now go and meet uh, one of the uh, the female entrepreneurs the Institute of Export and International Trade sponsored uh, to attend the WTO Public Forum last year. Koinor who is a really innovative jute manufacturer here in Dakar. Hopefully I'll uh, be able to show you more when I'm with uh, Cohen on. See you later. going to Japan. Every basket has a name of the person who made the basket. So that's how we send it to our producers. Uh, the name is here written Asma. So the, uh, the lady who made this, her name is Asma. We make the uh, ladies feel more important. Because even then, the customer who, who, get, who takes the basket or the bag or anything, she knows or he knows that I took it from this, uh, this individual. So recently we have seen that this is more uh, green and nature friendly rather than the synthetic names which we use in our bags. So therefore we are shifting to these, the bamboo ones and the coconut ones. It is wonderful to see you again. I've had a tour. I've seen the brilliant women that you're working for, the incredible projects, an amazing, amazing uh, project that, that you're leading. And just tell me a little bit about the history of the, what started this great initiative and what you're doing now. From the very beginning, when I start work with this uh, company, there are very few little old men. But right now, you cannot imagine more than 20,000 women involved with us. And these are the women. Previously, we, I, I even go personally their home when I found they can, they don't have food, nice cloth, and uh, they cannot send their children to school. I visit their family and spoke with them. Come and work with us. Then you can earn some money, and that money you can feed the children, buy the clothes, books, everything. We are particularly not uh, bringing the women like those who are financially sound. We targeting widow, single mother, very poor, disabled, and indigenous women. I have to say, uh, meeting with your team here in Dakar, it's very clear there's a huge amount of love and respect for Taranga and what you've done. And I heard stories about how women you know, were, were on their own, they had no income, but coming to work with you, they've managed to save up. Uh, mm -hmm. There was one lady I spoke to who bought some land uh, because of the work that she's That's had here. I heard about, uh, there was one woman whose husband died, she had three children, but because of you, she was able to educate her children. They've gone through school, uh, they've gone through, got qualifications, mm -hmm. and now she's a grandmother. Yeah. It's brilliant. Mm -hmm. but, but more than that, more than just the, the economics of it, I also heard about the healthcare support that you provide, the social uh, support that you provide. And uh, uh, a lady who had a, a, a cancer and because of what you've done, um, that was treated. And if you could just say a little bit about that side of the work. We thought is a, we should do something about the healthcare. You'll be very happy to know from next month or within very short time, 
uh, there is a German doctor coming to Bangladesh and they will take care of our women and also medicine. So monthly two times they will come, doctor will come and check up our women as in their kids and giving us the medicine. That culture of, of care uh, and of community it is really clear. And I think you know, and it, it, it is in the DNA, it's at the heart of Tarango and what you've created. Even when we look at the products that you uh, create, you know, they are all sustainable. We are using our natural materials in Bangladesh, a lot of eco-friendly materials, raw materials. So it's a fully eco-friendly. It is uh, protect our environment and uh, protect our uh, earth. That product, women never cannot export. But we take the responsibility in our shoulder. We uh, enter that market, we access that market, and that product we export many countries and that money come, again, we are sending to the women. So it is a very much economically empowered, as well as the protect the environment. It's a very integrated approach. These are the women, they never went to school. They don't have education, but they have intelligence. They never went to school. But think about it. Any product, we have not received any penalty, nothing. 100% approved and it's, I'm really feeling very good and it's a blessing. People should recognize them but due to the patriarchal society. Our women, very often they don't get recognition. And, and I have to say, I, I'm here at the Business Forum and a clear message that comes across is about women's empowerment in Bangladesh. And I hope you don't mind me saying, but I see we've got pictures of you with Sheikh Hasina, mm -hmm. the Prime Minister. Mm -hmm. We received three times award from Sheikh Hasina. Highest exporter, best women entrepreneurs, organic uh, production. Mm -hmm. uh, and you export to how many different countries? Right now, 27 countries. Brilliant. I remember meeting you uh, when we were in Geneva yes. at the World uh, Trade Organization Public Forum. Uh, and I remember how, how you so impressed um, uh, Dr. Ngozi the Director General of the uh, WTO, uh, and Pamela Coke Hamilton, the head of the uh, ITC. Uh, I wonder if you could just say a little bit about what happened whilst you were in Geneva. That way they encouraged me, your team, and uh, many of ITC team. It's really, um, that time I feel I need to do go more and more. I need to do more work for the, this kind of vulnerable women to show them away they can stand their own feet like me. So, and these things also opened my eyes and giving me more, I, I'm really inspired to go more and more. Koino, thank you. It truly has been inspiring. You impressed me when I saw you last year in Geneva. I am even more impressed, not just by you, but by your incredible team. Thank you. It's really a pleasure for me. I'm really grateful to you. I'm really grateful. Pleasure is all mine. Thank, thank you. you.